We're also working exclusive new details in campaign 2014. Tonight, we're hearing from former Republican gubernatorial candidate Ken Block for the first time since his primary night lost to Alan Fung. And he has some strong words about that primary and about the controversy surrounding recently added moderate party candidate Robert Healy. Now, Block spoke to WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi, who joins us now live. Now, this was Ken Block's first interview since he lost on primary night. How's his mood a week later? Well, uh, Mike, I talked to Ken Block for about 15, 20 minutes by phone today. I'd say he's exhausted and deeply, deeply disappointed by the outcome of the primary last week, maybe unsurprisingly. Now, one of the most interesting things I think Ken Block told you was his opponent, Alan Fung. Has he decided to endorse him yet? Yeah, viewers may remember in our WPRI 12 Providence Journal debate earlier this month, both Block and Fung did pledge to endorse their opponent if he won the primary. But when I asked Block today whether he's endorsing Fung, here's what he told me, quote, I'm not in a frame of mind where I can talk about any form of endorsements on any possible levels. I'm still healing from the race, as I assume everybody can understand. It was a vicious and ugly race, and I'm not in a frame of mind where I can do anything from an endorsement standpoint at this point. So uh, obviously Alan Fung has some work to do if he wants to get Ken Block's endorsement, it sounds like, at this point. All right, he ran as a Republican this time. Obviously he started the moderate party. Two days after the primary, we find out they have a, another candidate. Where does he stand in this? He said he had nothing to do with Ken Block. Even though he founded the moderate party, he said he severed ties with the moderate party and he had nothing to do with bringing Bob Healy into that race. And coming up new at 6, we talked to Bob Healy, uh, who's taping Dan York's State of Mind today, about what he thought about Block's comments and an effort by the Republican Party to get him off the ballot. All right, Ted Nisi, thank you very much. And of course, you can read Ted's full interview with Ken Block right now on WPRI.com, as well as in-depth coverage of campaign 2014 and the Rhode Island governor's race.